Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forecap Scaler again. On this video, I'm going to show you how The Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild looks on Samsung KS 8000 65-inch 4K TV. And uh, I'll give you my opinions on it really quick. My thoughts on how it looks, considering it's using a uh, 1900p resolution and to see how well the upscale is going to look on this TV. I will also show you my custom picture settings that I'm using really quick. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's do this because I only have 10 minutes to do this. There's a new update. Let me just get that out of the way. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Starting the game. Should start right now, it's loading. And uh, let's see how it looks. Nintendo presents. The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> it looks pretty nice so far. I like what I'm seeing. Open your eyes. Peak brightness, look at that peak brightness just popping out. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. This looks really good, man. I'm I'm really impressed, like as to what I'm seeing in terms of upscale. This is pretty nice. Sure, there's some jagged edge lines because this is not powerful GPU, you know, but uh, the upscale is pretty good, man. Considering this is a 65 inch 4K TV. I like what I'm seeing here, this is pretty cool. It's kind of a shame that the this game doesn't have HDR because The Legend of Zelda could easily use HDR, you know. And I still stand by my statement where I said that I would love to see Nintendo move up to 4K HDR. It's only going to make their games look better, more enjoyable. It looks really nice. I'm going to skip through this really quick. We'll go outside. I want to show you how it looks outside. Not like inside, but outside. Interesting how they implement Illuminati Eye of the Beholder for the kids here, man. <laughs> And the kids don't even know it. Wow, this looks nice, man. It looks really impressive, man, on uh, on the upscale 4K TV. I wish that I had my uh, OLED TV. I can only imagine how this looked on OLED. But look, guys, I'm very impressed what Nintendo Switch can do in terms of upscaling. This is a big, giant TV. This is a 65-inch 4K TV. And... Uh, the upscale here is pretty darn good.
Wow, look at here. That looks amazing, dude. Well, my friend, Mr. Struders, he wasn't lying. Uh, he was correct. The upscale looks phenomenal. Very impressed. <clears throat> and I didn't really expect it to look this good on the upscale, but it, it really does, man. It really does. When you watch it from afar, it truly does. Very impressive. So let me show you my uh, custom calibrations here really quick, okay? Before we uh, before we end this video pretty soon. I can't even, I just wish that I gotten this Nintendo Switch before I got rid of uh, and sold my C7 OLED. I can't even imagine how this looks on C7 OLED. But it's truly good, man. I'm, I'm impressed. I have. To, I'm not gonna lie. I have to impress. I'm, I'm impressed. What I'm seeing here, uh, it looks fantastic. What this little uh, tablet device can do, Nintendo Switch, the upscale looks fantastic. And this is a big TV. This is a 65 inch gigantic TV I'm like seven and a half a week away feet away from this and it looks gigantic this is like huge man and it looks great now let me show you my uh, custom picture settings that I have here really quick okay let me show you that All right, so this is for those of you who have Samsung KS8000. And I know there's a lot of you that have Samsung KS8000, okay? Because the OLED, it's expensive. I don't think a lot of you have OLED. Uh, here is my custom picture settings for Samsung KS8000. Backlit, I felt 15, it's okay because it's not HDR. I don't need to go full-blown. The only time you turn contrast to maximum and backlit to maximum is when... The only time you do that to the maximum is when you are running HDR. If you're not running HDR, you don't need to have contrast and backlit all the way high. I felt like brightness should be a little bit down, 38, so I can get more of that dimming, so I can get more of those deep dark levels. And when you're looking at it from a center, it definitely looks great. You definitely get those much richer deep dark levels. And this is the best I can do for the uh, LED. Sharpness, I felt moving it up to 24. 20, it's their default. I felt going four clicks more to 24 seems to be appropriate for this game. Uh, color, I felt 63 instead of 55 because it's not HDR and I need a little bit of that color to pop for this game. So I went ahead with 63. Now here's the, the most important trick here, people. Digital Clean View, turn that off. Auto Motion Plus, turn that off. Smart LEDs, turn that off. And HDMI black levels, keep them low, because you want to get those deep dark levels. Dynamic contrast, turn that off. If you keep it high, your white balance will be all screwed up. Color, keep it at standard, because that's the balance between warm and cold temperature. So keep it at the middle, standard. And the gamma, keep it at minus three. You gotta make sure you keep your gamma in minus three. So that's pretty much where I'm running. And yes, color space, I keep it at native, which is the best right there. I only have 30 seconds left or so. So, uh, looks great. I don't know how many of these videos I'll be able to do, but uh, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one, though. Take care.